Jekko Ultimate Scream is now available in weekly objectives and as you can see there is actually no card design when I'm currently recording this video hopefully EA Sports should be able to fix that as soon as possible but in this video I'm going to be showing you how to complete him as soon as possible and also mainly on this giant slayer and slow and steady wins I'm going to be explaining a bit more about that giving you some plays to use and maybe also talking about if he's going to be worth completing so just before we get into it if you are new here make sure that you do subscribe I'm going to be making a lot more videos just like this one also talking to you guys about the market trading and investing how to make coins and also when the market's going to go up when the market's going to go down or when to buy and sell your team to save and make you coins so you definitely don't miss them so going straight into the video now like i did mention the card design isn't here for some reason esports will most likely fix that very soon of course probably when you're watching this video it will already be fixed but taking a look at the card if you should be completing he does look like an absolutely amazing card very tall six foot four he does have have a five star weak fit which is looks really good should help him a lot in game he does have medium medium work rate so of course we are going to see if that's going to affect him in game we are going to have to try him out but he has he's a free card after all so definitely go for him he does have very nice of course that huge pace upgrade has 90 finishing does have also 94 composure and 96 ball control so this should definitely help him he does also have 86 heading and of course his height should be able to help him head the board but heading this year isn't really the thing but i think he's definitely he should be a good player of course haven't tried him out yet but he's a free card and the objectives do not actually look too bad to complete actually taking a look now the first one is actually score 10 goals in online survival so what you actually need to do for this all you have to go is into online and then it is actually going all you have to go into is play and then it's going to be friendlies and then you do select play online and you will click survival i'm pretty sure it won't work as your friend i do think it has to be against a random opponent on fifa ultimate team that's kind of like the whole point but definitely check that out that shouldn't be too hard to complete and also the next one here is going to be win four squad battles um matches using at least one Bundesliga one Premier League one Serie A player on professional difficulty so that shouldn't be hard at all as well it's going to be just a bit annoying playing four squad battle games but it's only on professional difficulty so all of us should pretty much be able to do that very easily and if we have for example a full Premier League team we can just add in a Serie A Bundesliga player somewhere in there and easily get that completed now in division rivals again we do have score five goals using a low driven shot that shouldn't be too difficult they have they're, no, they're not really as good the low driven shots this year but you should still be able to get that completed in certain situations they still come out as very effective so you can possibly be trying to do that whilst you are also doing some of these whilst you are doing giant slayer and also slow and steady wins so getting into that now of course if we just ch take a look i have actually selected some players that we can be using for these i believe this is the first time we have got specific requirements like this on the stat but we are going to take a look first one is giant slayer so maximum 75 pace and minimum 80 physical so i have actually found all of these plays these are the best plays that you can be using definitely check out some of them for example lukaku might be a bit too expensive you might not want to go for him but hala zapata manzukic these are definitely very cheap to be doing and if you guys already have any of these maybe untradeable or anything like that we'll save you of course uh just going to the chance market and buying it but that shouldn't really be too difficult you should be able to get that done pretty good I, I am guessing lots of you guys are just struggling finding these plays but these are the top options that you will find of course and now moving on slow and steady wins you do need a maximum 83 dribbling and minimum 70 passing and this is actually for assists so you do kind of want to go for some wingers but if you are playing of course two up top then this will help as well and for example you can kind of go like this Joao Felix there is Bale, Inaki Williams, Rodrigo, Lozano possibly you could go Rodrigo and Anaki Williams up front and kind of like assist with each other because you do need quite a few assists you need 10 assists which is quite a lot but you can be using of course the left hand side is for giant slayer and the right hand side is slow and steady wins so of course you can actually try and go for any of these it should help you guys a lot those are definitely the top I have gone through all of them just filtered them through and those are the best ones to completing that so of course once you have that done you do have one more left and this is just score a goal from across you a Serie A player in four separate rivals so that's going to be very annoying you can of course it does kind of like match in of course EA Sports I, I think have tried to match in for example this giant slayer it's most likely going to be of course a tall player so you can kind of go for the Lukaku or whoever you go for you can try and score of course those headers at least one in 
four separate rival matches. You can try and complete this one whilst you are completing the Giant Slayer. And it should, of course, you should be able to get through them pretty quickly. But mainly Giant Slayer and Slow and Steady wins is where you guys will need assistance. So pretty much if you guys do have some spare time over the weekend, you can definitely think about getting this card. 87 rated card, even if you're not going to be using him in your team or as a super sub, you can still, of course, put him in the club. You never know when he's going to be useful in an SBC movie, guaranteed team of the week or something like that. If you guys do need any other help, DM me on Twitter or Instagram. You can also comment down below. I'll definitely get back to you guys. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you next time.